Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to go over how to crop a doodly character using pics. Hey, and welcome to the official doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. Have you ever wanted to crop a doodly character? Now that you can easily export your scenes as images, I thought it would be fun to use pics and doodly in conjunction to crop a doodly character. For example, I have this image here of a driver's license. It's a stock photo, and you'll notice this is how it originally came, and I wanted it to have my character. Of course, this character doesn't quite fit in right, you know, we need the headshot. And if I were to make him large enough to have the headshot here, you would still see the background of the original stock image. So what I did instead was I cropped the man's face and put a little border around it and now it fits perfectly and I did this using pics. So how did I do it? Well let's go over it together. Let's take a new scene and here I have a little cat lady and there's a picture frame here but there's no picture in it and I figured well we could put the lady in so let's go ahead and pull up Mary and let's find one. This one I think is cute. This would be a great photo. But again, it's the same problem. It doesn't fit. Yeah, you know, unless we want to have her full body as the photo, which I don't think we really want to do. So how are we going to get Mary inside this photo with just her little head? Let's go ahead and create a blank scene. And let's just bring Mary in. And let's make her nice and large. So, something like this. That way we'll get as high a resolution as we can on her headshot area. So we wanna just export this as an image. So right click on the scene itself and choose save as image. I'm gonna choose it as a PNG and I'm gonna make it as large as I can. And I'm just gonna put it to my desktop. And now it's exported. Let's go back to this scene. Delete this one. So let's go ahead and open Pix. If you're not familiar with Pix, it is part of the Voomly Cloud family, just like Doodly is. Depending on your plan, you may already have access to Pix. If not, you can use any other image editing software that you might have. But I thought today it would be fun to use Doodly and Pix together. So let's go ahead and click New, Custom Image. By default, it's a 1024 square, which is fine. And I wanna bring in my screenshot of Mary. I'm just gonna drag and drop it in. And here she is. So now, before I crop her, let's make her extra large. And you'll notice she's already semi-cropped just because of the way we set her up in this doodly scene. So we can just go ahead and make it like that. And now we're gonna hit our resize tool, which is really our crop tool. And in this case, I'm just gonna make it as thin as I can this way. And then let's, let's bring it up just a touch here and then down here. And I think that will look nice. Let's hit apply. And let's go ahead and export. Let's give her a name, Mary Losup. Go back into Doodly. You can delete this scene here. We wanna place her in this frame. So we can be in the characters tab if you'd like, because this is part of Mary. And let's just go ahead and import it. Mary close up. And now we have this cropped image of Mary and she should fit in our picture frame here. And then let's do the same with her cat. Let's have a little cat face peeking in. So let's go to props. I already have cat here. So let's take this one. We're just gonna do the same thing. So add a new scene. 
cat. And let's flip this one and make this larger. And let's go ahead, right click, save as image. We want this to be high resolution. Continue. We can replace this. Go back into Pix. We want, we can go ahead and delete this layer. And let's just bring our cat in. Okay, I'm gonna hit the move tool and I'm gonna make this cat a little bit larger. And I'm thinking something like that. So let's go to crop and let's crop this down. We'll do something like that. Click apply. And we'll go ahead and export our cat. Go back to doodly. We can delete this scene. We no longer need it. And let's import it by clicking the blue plus sign. Drag and drop our cat in. zoom in a little now of course if we were to preview this scene it's gonna be fairly long because all of this stuff is set to draw individually but when we get to the photo of the cat this part's gonna scribble on and not necessarily in the right spot right see so we have a blank photo, but bear with me as we get to it. Right here. Okay, it's just kind of scribbling it on. The cat, it's okay, but see how that just scribbles? So you no longer have the drawing pads and it's up to you if you want to add them yourself or not. Well, Let's go ahead and fix up this scene a little. I don't want all of this stuff drawing, so I'm gonna select everything. And then I'm going to use my command button to unselect these things. Okay, so now I have just all the background elements selected. I'm gonna right click, go to settings, change the duration on all of these to zero. Let's look at our scene. So Mary draws on, the cat draws on, and then our image scribbles on. Let's fix that. Let's put these first. And let's change that. Cat can scribble on. Let's have Mary draw on. So what we want to do is select her, click the little pencil icon, and we can do the drawing paths. So we'll start with a new path. Let's see. Let's start with their glasses. Okay, so now let's take one final look and we will be done. So here's the scribble here. This one's going to draw it on. And then the scene continues. And there you have it. That's how you can use Doodly and Pix together to do a simple crop of your Doodly characters. I hope this gives you some ideas. Thank you for watching. Bye.